All right, hey everyone, Sam here. What is going on? So Veterans Day is over, Halloween is past, and up next is Thanksgiving. And I really wanted to sit down with you guys today and talk about some tips for going to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York City. We had the opportunity to go last year, and uh, now that we've been, we're like, okay, probably won't go for a long time. Um, but it was a really neat experience. So if you have the opportunity or the chance to go, here is some tips that we learned and things that we wish we would have done. So number one is layer up. Now this is probably something that we actually did do pretty well. I think both of us were wearing long sleeve shirts, hoodies, a windbreaker, and then like a big Carhartt jacket. Um, both of us were wearing jeans. I think Cody ended up wearing pajama pants underneath his, and I may have worn leggings. Um, we also both wore boot socks and tennis shoes, but if I, we had to do it over again, I'd recommend wearing insulated boots that are meant for cold weather. So wear like snow boots or something like that because we did like get cold feet. We also both wore beanies. Um, we had both of our, you know, hoods up from our Carhartt jackets. And we both wore gloves. Um, I also made the decision to bring hand warmers. And I am so glad that I did because it can get frigid cold out there. Uh, last year in 2021, it was relatively warmer compared to some prior years. But it may be cold again this year or in future years. So if... Uh, if I'm going to say anything, definitely bring layers. It's always easier to shed them and put them back on than it is, you know, sitting out there freezing and wishing that you had more layers to put on. The next thing that we wish that we did and we did not was stay another night and stay on a hotel that's on a street directly off the parade route. We stayed in a hotel that was maybe three blocks away from the parade route. We woke up at three in the morning. We ended up checking out at about four and we walked to our spot. Um, and there's no bathrooms anywhere. <laughs> there's no porta potties anywhere off to the side. All the restaurants and places are closed. Usually uh, their restrooms are closed. Even McDonald's when it like didn't have open public restrooms for the public. So, uh, for that reason, make sure that you get a hotel that's on a street that's off one of the main parade route areas so that way you can go use the restroom and someone can still stay there in your spot. Um, and also with that, stay another night, you know, enjoy the parade, chill out for lunch and whatnot, go out about dinner time or so and then stay one more night and then leave the next day so that way you do have the option to go back to your hotel we we got there late the night before woke up early the next morning watched the parade ate somewhere got our car and went back to Rhode Island where we were living at the time um if you happen to drive there there is a parking app that you can download, and I don't remember the specific name of it, but you can prepay for parking. And what we ended up doing was prepaying for, um, it was the parking garage uh, where Wicked is on Broadway. So we ended up parking there, and it wasn't too far away from our hotel. Um, it was walking distance, didn't even have to take the subway or anything like that, so... Um, prepay for your parking. Um, it can get a little pricey, but that way you're not scrambling to find a place. You know, it's just automatically find it and go. Um, living up in the New England area, though, uh, you could take trains to wherever you wanted to go. We took our car and, um, you know, if you live up in that area, I would definitely say take the train you know even if you're up in Rhode Island take the train down to New York City so that way you're not having to worry about driving in that New York City traffic it's not too horrendous but during Thanksgiving time it can be hectic so you know if you live up in that area definitely find 
a way to get down there by train if possible or even take the Greyhound bus. I remember a few Thanksgivings ago I took the Greyhound from Providence down to New York City and that wasn't too expensive. They just stopped on a lot of places. So that wasn't too bad. Um, try to find a place in front of like a convenience store. I don't particularly remember the name of the convenience store that we sat in front of. It was recommended by another YouTuber. And if I can find his video, I'll link it down in the comment section. So that way you guys can watch his video also. Um, but this particular convenience store had hot breakfast items they had hot coffee and like hot latte machines or whatever um they also had just random cold drinks and snacks and stuff like that the only thing is i really wish that they had a restroom for the public to use um but it was also thanksgiving of 2021 so uh covid was still kind of in the mix of things there um bring comfortable lawn chairs <laughs> bring comfortable lawn chairs and if you can bring blankets um don't go by yourself you know and the reason why i say that is because when you bring lawn chairs and blankets and you stay at a hotel that's not too far off the parade route um you're kind of more able for someone to go warm up maybe go get a snack uh, go use the restroom and the other person can stay there and watch all your stuff, you know, so um, Definitely bring long chairs. What I will say though is by the time that the prey gets closer to starting the more it starts getting crowded and you might end up standing. Um, I know that we ended up standing for a good majority of the parade even though we had lawn chairs, but people do not care and they will just stand directly in front of you even if you are sitting down in a lawn chair. People can be really rude. We had a few kids that, you know, were scrambling to be in front of us, but their parents like were way behind us. And so just keep in mind that other people may not have the same common courtesy. So they may step in front of you and step on your toes and stuff like that. Um, what was another thing? Um, so we were down further towards the end of the parade route and that's an okay spot if you do not mind waiting another 30 to 45 minutes for the parade to actually start getting to where you're at. Um, the other kind of minor issue with being down at the end of the parade is somewhere along the parade routes they start either bunching up or getting separated from the rest of the parade. So there would be gaps, <laughs> there'd be long gaps. Uh, towards the end um, and they're not as you know happy and joyous as maybe they were in the beginning so by then they're just tired and they just want to be done with it so if that's something that you care about and seeing a parade you know like a really big show and whatnot go to the front of the parade route so that way you're not hitting up all those gaps and whatnot and you're not sitting out there for maybe an hour or two even longer and then people out at the front. Um, the night before, or maybe the night before, two nights before, I think it's the night before, um, you do have the op option to go see them uh, blow up the parade balloons and stuff. We did not do that. I think we saw like a minuscule shot of it, but for the most part, we didn't really stick around and see that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, most of all, just... Have fun. It is so much fun to just go and just have that experience. We are so glad that we went. You know, we're both in our late 20s and just being able to go with someone and sitting out there in the cold and drinking coffee and hot cocoa and, you know, just waiting for hours for this parade to start, which reminds me, be out there early. We were out there at four in the morning, four thirty. I think we were actually like situated by five in the morning and the parade does not start until a couple of hours later. So definitely be prepared to have things to do while you're waiting. You know, bring an extra charger, bring a tablet, bring a personal handheld game or something, a book would be really great. You know, and that's why I would say go with someone else so you have 
someone to talk to at least excuse me um you know bring snacks if you can but just be mindful the biggest thing for us was we didn't have a restroom <laughs> you know we couldn't we couldn't find a restroom anywhere and after the parade had ended we walked a good few blocks before we finally found a bar and we're like we will buy food can we just please use your restroom and they're like yeah absolutely and we also had like our suitcases with us and stuff like that so it was just mayhem so if, we're, if you're gonna catch anything from this video hotel room somewhere off that parade route that's not extremely far away that you can kind of walk back and forth to and use the restroom and whatnot and stay for the extra night you know we we only stayed for one night we came there late the night before thanksgiving and we left the day after right after lunchtime so um i hope that guy i hope that was helpful for you guys um this is kind of a last minute put together video and everything but thanksgiving is coming around the corner and I know that, you know, this is probably about the time where people start making arrangements to go do fun things like this. So, uh, comment down below and tell me if you guys have ever been to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade or if you are planning on going. And we will see you guys next time. Bye!